Hi, my name is Timo Elliott and I'm an innovation evangelist with SAP. I'd like to talk to you about datification. Datification is about taking a process or activity that was previously invisible and turning it into data. That data can then be tracked, monitored and optimized leading to new opportunities and new challenges. It's similar in some ways to the notion of dark data, data that has been ignored up until now because of technology limitations. Only in this case, it's more about dark activities that are now being pushed into the light. New technologies have enabled lots of new ways to datify our daily lives. For example, my exercise is now datified. I went for a run this morning and my Fitbit One device recorded exactly how long I ran for, how many strides I took and how many calories I burned in the process. For the very first time, it's easy for me to track my exercise progress. And that's just one small example. A lot of my daily activity is now automatically tracked. My network of friends is datafied with Facebook. My network of professional contacts is datafied with LinkedIn. My location is datafied with Foursquare. My latest random thoughts are datafied on Twitter. And my music preferences are datafied with Spotify. Even reading books is now datafied. While I'm reading on my Kindle device, it's actually watching me. Amazon tracks my reading data and uses it to provide useful services. For example, it knows what page I'm on, so I can easily switch between different devices. It uses my reading speed to estimate how long it's going to take me to finish a book. And they've incorporated some aspects of the wisdom of the crowd idea. For example, I can choose to see which passages other people have highlighted as the most interesting. But that data is also being collected and analyzed by Amazon to optimize book sales. For example, I recently finished a book in a series by Ken Follett and the very next morning I received an email giving me a special offer on the next book in the series. Interesting enough, that special offer was at a higher price than the current general price. So watch out. Amazon can and probably will do lots of other things with this data in the future. For example, they could work with authors to help them optimize their books, showing them which passages people find hard to read or identify at which pages readers tend to give up on the book. Datification is also rampant in the business world. For example, most commercial vehicles now use GPS to track and optimize journeys. Even tires are becoming datified. Pirelli has embedded sensors into truck tires that constantly beam back information about tire pressure and temperature. And this is used to calculate tire wear, helping lengthen the life of the tire and optimize preventative maintenance. We can expect to see much more datification in the future. It makes a huge amount of sense to datify our health, for example. Sensors that track our temperature, pulse, blood pressure and so on. Doctors will increasingly be able to advise treatments not to cure us, but to prevent us from getting sick in the first place. Education is being rapidly datified with services such as the Khan Academy. This includes the notion of flipping education. The pupils watch lecture videos as the homework and do the exercises in class, where a teacher can monitor what each pupil is struggling with and intervene as necessary in a very individual way for the first time. In conclusion, I believe we barely scratch the surface of what is possible. As the price of connected sensors plummets, we're going to see many other activities being datified. Author Rick Snow Smolin of the book uh, The Human Face of Big Data calls this creating a nervous system for the planet as a whole. And datification is therefore a key part of the big data revolution.